had to come back. After the ballyhoo, eh? The razzmatazz. You had to. It didn't matter that you'd left it years back. It didn't matter what you'd done in between. It was your town. 1973. We were back on the map. A whole nation cheered us on. We were going to Wembley to pull off a miracle. The cream. We were second division Sunderland, real under dogs. But we knew we could do it. We were the heroes. We were all heroes. I cried. I really cried. was different. You felt it everywhere. The excitement came back on the wave of it. A new start. I thought I was doing great, man. Today, anyway. Not this early. We'll have to make it worth your while, then, won't we? One chocolate sundae, and you want the vanilla with the raspberry ruffle. I didn't order anything. It's an ice cream parlour. People eat ice cream here. At 30 pence. 20. 30. Thank you. Well, do you want that? Part of the surprise. What's the rest? Guess. No, tell me. <clears throat> oh, no. I'm not going to a football match. You'll enjoy it. You said a surprise. Are you not surprised? You know I hate football. 
Look, I've not taken time off work to come all the way out here and stand out in the freezing cold for 90 minutes. We can get a seat? No. Um, you can borrow my scarf. Don't want to. You are a fraud. <laughs> oh, it got thrown up. <laughs> disturbing anyone. How many irate customers can you see? Hmm, not that many. <laughs> so, I'm not going to the match, eh? No. So, are you joking? Did the mind? What? Worth. Well, they don't like it, Stevie. Day here, day there, sets a bad example. They'll be sorry they took me on. Tell them that you're getting adjusted. That was last week. Don't you let them push you around. You do the job, and they should be pleased that you finish early. I'm supposed to be on hand in case I'm needed. You are needed here. You're mad. That's why you love me. Well, what are we going to do? You spend enough time round here, you make a suggestion. Apart from the match. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Well, you've got the docks, you've got the yards, you've got the river. Where would you like to start? I'm spoilt for choice. Hey, I could show you what I'm trying to represent. What? What a whole community shared. That was a long time ago. I still share the memory. That's not lost. That's what you keep on the record. Whose record? Who'll see it? You and me? They won't. It's still a shared experience. You don't share it. I spent years living practically on top of it. Near enough. Your ice cream's melting. before the match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Used to hang around the front. Done with fortune and pennies and our gate money already. And after, used to come back, have a bottle maybe, then go over to the beach. Stuff your pockets with smooth round pebbles till you felt rich enough to go home. show you the places I used to go, where I used to live. And that's my surprise. You don't want to go? Yeah. Hughes at the corner. Hallam, he turns to the centre, just the port of the port of the turns. It's Jesus, 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 Please put on the pressure. Charlie Hayes. Montgomery Sands. Let him shoot. Montgomery Sands. It's been clear. That's the final whistle. Stoke go, go, Stoke go, Stoke go. Hey, hey, hey. Go, 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 go. Still didn't get promotion. You missed the best. Don't normally get spectators of this end. That won't keep you fit. See, eh? Uh, healthy, very healthy. Is that what you're doing here? Getting to see you? No. Haven't opened all day and the pubs have been closed. Yeah, just where you've been. Got some in, eh? What a place to meet. 
You haven't been waiting long, long enough. <laughs> I mean, you haven't changed. How are we doing? Then? Oh, I'm all right, mate. When did you get back? Two or three months ago. Took you long enough to get in touch. I mean, I was only off my last ship a few weeks back. You here for a while? I doubt it. I thought we'd seen the last of you, though. No chance. Just waiting for the right year, wasn't I? Well, you picked that. I went <laughs> wild. I was here. Uh, Dancing in the streets. I know. I saw it. But pretty amazing. Had to come back. So, what are you doing? Looking the ball up? I saw Rogers, man. He's in Canada. Yeah, she said last April. Your mate Mike's gone as well. Is he? Oh, you didn't know that. Mike Davies. Snatched the opportunity and went. Just like that, I did. Where'd he go? I don't know. thought you'd like to talk to me, did you? I was the one you wanted to look up. Yes. <laughs> Why here? Old haunts. You've got a long memory. Fixed up and clicking away. Yes. I went for a proper job the other day, though. Oh, I. North Dock. Didn't get it. No. I didn't go for a job. Stands the reason that run like you. Stick to your snapshots. You can lift a brownie. You know how we sometimes think over a problem? Work out all the contradictions, all the little pros and cons. And you miss the most obvious thing. I was down there the other day, North Dock, sizing it up. And it struck us. I've got all the wrong pictures, Trev, everything I've done. I've shown old skills, social customs, working conditions. But I've never shown the real process of work. Never represented the stuff that most people wake up to every day. You want to show people working? Yes. So that's why you're back? Enlisting the aid of a working man. Oh, a bit short, are you? No, no, no. I really think I need a proper job, though. One that starts that time in the morning, finishes that time at night. Piss off and leave the thing till the next day. Work time here, play time there. Nice and easy. So, you'd like to work for Sunderland Football Club? I would say yes. Assistant groundsman. Out for glamour, are you? Just want the job. Can't keep away from the game. Nine years in the soft south, and you reckon your future's back here? You've seen what we're paying? Yes. Doesn't he tell you? No. Stupid tit. <laughs> Mind you, keen. Very keen. Runs in families. Your father now, I knew him. 22 years. Loyal. He was loyal, a wonderful man. I'll always remember. 26 minutes into the fifth round replay against Man City. That was the one. Hugh scored off a long throw in from Kerr. Crowd went wild. And he keeled over. Missed the final. And he can't win them all. I wish he had gone like that, poor old bugger. Hey! Come on! You can open up. Very picturesque. Used to come down here with Trev. You'll have to meet Trev. We used to come down here, sit on the edge, with our rods, dangling lines next to the old men. Think they were old. Watching what they did. And 
you'd look out south across the mouth of the river to the other side, waiting for the time when you'd be old enough to go. That way, eager for it. And they'd look across, knowing it all. I'm still looking. Should have brought a line. Come on, move. Funny. You get an idea about something, you hold on to it, shake it about like a dog with a bone. You bury it somewhere in your head. Then when you want to find it, suddenly you don't know where to look. It's gone. Might as well be lost. Disappointed. Why? Yes. In me or the place? The place hasn't changed. No. <laughs> it's quite picturesque, really. Like an old postcard. Gnarled old Stevie baiting the hooks, run down and hanging on. You're growing earnest. Old and earnest. Right out of zest. Race you. Where? There. I'm not going right out to the end. Yes, out to sea. Bobbing about in a little boat, not a care in the world. That would do me. Go! <laughs> Great history that team though. It won't last. What do you mean it won't last? It's there, they've got it. They've had it. The history's there. And when did you last see them play? We'll go up the season. Prime candidate. No chance. The 1890s though. Hey, there was a the time. It's prehistory, no competition. Up to the war, into the twenties. Everything going here. Holly, Brooklyn, Holly there. Teach me why they go. Thousands of people standing there. Staring at a patch of grass. Tradition. It's here, in this place, on this very spot. You remember? Of course I remember. What do you remember? Where we were stood. Kev was here. I was over there. We saw the whole thing. The little boat and the big boat. The man had an orange jacket. The man in the little boat. The rest of us wore yellow. Not as distinctive yellow. You remember that? He was in distress. They could pick him out on the top of each wave. A tiny orange jacket riding the top of each wave. Then the boat overturned. He held on, riding the top of each wave. He held on for ages. For his life. We were standing just here. Just before they reached him. Oh, reached out for him. 
He lost his grip. You could see him bobbing away from the boat. Oh. I was here. Trevor's over there. They reached out for him? They tried to reach him. But each time they drew near, he bobbed a little further out. It must have been so cold. Yes, sir. We watched for ages. It seemed like a lifetime. We were frozen, and he was in the water. Bitterly cold. Then they caught hold of the orange jacket. No. Wait a minute, no. Then he disappeared for a while. All we could see were the men in yellow. Yeah, we could only see them. Then we saw the orange bob back again. Bobbed right back. And they reached out, caught his arm and hauled him into the boat. So it saved him? The orange jacket saved his life? No. We caught the jacket. He wasn't in it. Oh. Think about going down. You're just seaman. Do you ever think about it? Drowning. Going under. Not very likely. You think an iceberg? No. Why not? Folks into one chance. You never thought about it, Trev. Never. All that time. No. I was going to join you. Go to sea. I was going to join you. You're seasick in the bath, and when did that notion cross your mind? Last year. Well, I last year. Not yet a nine year back though, not when I first sailed. I couldn't before. Yeah, that's a good, isn't it? You had prospects. Future prospects. I had. Your mum was proud of you. She was. She'd have murdered you if you hadn't have gone to college. Yeah, you might be right. Dead proud. Anyway, I'd have joined the proper navy. Oh, I. Uh huh. A destroyer. That's a proper ship, a destroyer. Or a cruiser. I wouldn't have frigged around fat-bellied hulks full of coal. I'd have gone for the proper navy. I reckon you'd have made a seaman. Of course. Not. <laughs> May I dreamed it once. Drowning. Sinking down under the seabed. And people where they were floating past and things. Like there'd been a wreck. Everything was green. There was this letter. Mm -hmm. This bloke in horn-rimmed glasses, he handed me this letter to give to me mum. On the seabed? In a paisley envelope. Anyway, I couldn't give it to her. Why not? I was drowning. <laughs> I tried to give it to her, mind you. But, well, I couldn't get up for air. Yeah. Something was holding me down under the seabed. Blood winds. Like that. I woke up icy cold, with the sheets around me head. Your whole life floats past. They say that. Uh, that's what they say. Yeah. Everything you did. People, 
places. Your whole life. Stevie? Stevie? What are you looking at? State of the nation. You know what you are? What? A displaced person. A refugee on your own home ground. Piss off. It's true, look here. Trained to think you were. Highly trained. I was trained, that's about all. You were doing all right where you were. You might have been famous. Me and 10,000 others. They always come back. You come back? Oh, I like a dog. Sniff around, cup your leg and on your way. But I couldn't live here. I don't know if your woman can stand it. You should have seen our first place. Two rooms on a top floor. One small, the other smaller. A big pot sink. Big table you could hardly get around. Mattress, three chairs, six wire hangers, and a share of the kitchen and the bathroom. That's if you were quick. I'd finished, but Helen still had a final year to do. Sounds ideal to me. You had to get to the bathroom before half past eleven. Or you lost it to Mr. Mahoney. He didn't have a room. He just used to come in at half past eleven and lock himself in the bathroom. There you know. You could be bursting to go to the toilet. <laughs> but he'd just sit there, complaining that he'd missed the ferry home. They'd known he was coming, but they hadn't waited. Sometimes you could hear him crying. All night. There's two other students. A nurse, hardly ever saw her. And a shy old West Indian couple. Got all the things packed in trunks. Never unpacked a thing. If you met them in the kitchen and asked how they were, they'd tell you about the things in the trunks. Beautiful gowns. He'd bought his wife beautiful gowns. Pictures, good china, silver cutlery, fine linen. All packed in the trunks, ready to go. Did they? I don't know. Left came up here, didn't we? Sail too far and over you go. Looks like that, doesn't it, from here? People used to think so. Edge of the world. Sail off for a day, come back with a swagger. Then some smart ass tells them that it's round. <laughs> Say it till you're dizzy, you won't fall off. One in the eye for belief. Worse than that if you suspect it all the time. Chasing your own tail. I should have brought a camera, taken a snap of you. One for the record. No thanks. Something to show your children. I mean, something to remember. I can do without that. You are funny. Don't you want any? What for? Used to come down here with my dad. Used to walk along the beach. What for? Something we always did. Even after I left home. On visits, odd weekends, Christmas, we'd go down to the beach, walking. Did you ever find anything? Washed up? No. I wish you... You brought your camera. Yes, you said that. That wasn't what I was going to say. What were you going to say? Nothing. Nothing in particular. We're a funny couple. All couples are funny. I'd love a hot drink. Okay. Shouldn't have 
that brought you up here. Glad I've seen it. No, not here. Up here. You wanted to come back? Up to a house. Roots aren't houses or things. They're a way of life. Wherever you are, wherever you go, I'll just twist you up. You've never felt that, have you? No. You want to live in the past. It's the past. No one's ever lived in the past. It's just a name for times you never knew. So that makes you feel comfy. Comfy? It's hardly that. Sty of contentment. Uh, well, that's nice to know. It doesn't seem to worry Trevor. Trev? When did you see him? Last week. What did he want? Company. Probably came to see you. He's between ships. Restless. Oh, now he's been all around the world. Till he's dizzy with it. Come on, Stevie, let's get back. I'm so cold. I didn't come back to a place. I didn't come to anywhere. I came with you, I chose to. I make space wherever I am. The places don't matter very much. You hate it here. As much as you.
Hey, get, get done with that. Hey, Trev. Yeah, well, Doc, good. Get done with my spine. What are you doing? Scrutinising the yard. And what are you doing here? Sizing up the latest enterprise. Seen Helen? Uh, yeah. Well, time I want it there quick. Fantastic place. This? Fantastic. You always come back. That's something well I used to say. Did you? I always come back. But if they've got any sense, they'll go away again. Discerning woman. Hey. I feel like a bloody leech. It scares me, Trev. You know it. And it's not the same. You feel it's not the same. Nothing's changed. Men. Working together. Living the same. Feeling the same. Mm. Solid. And here's me. Looking at it. Trying to find a way to see it. Trying to represent things I've never done. People I've never known. I'm getting paid for it. All the time I was away, I know what I could do back here. Document the whole bloody awful history of it. The bloody myth of shared oppression that nobody shares. I don't share it. My dad never shared it. Helen can't. Mm. I don't even believe in it. Do you believe it? I just live here. She thinks I'm a waster. He thought I was. <laughs> That's my tradition. You never came down to see us. Never. You were the wrong team. You went south. No, he could have. Over nine years, he could have. He probably meant to. He even sent his train ticket. But he never came. He never said he was pleased with us or proud or anything. Pick the right one? Uh-huh. Home from home, Trev. Tell somebody you've lost interest. Hmm? How do you tell someone? She's worn it all away, hating the place, wearing it down. She was happy where we were. She came with you. Mm -hmm. She came with us. Yeah, she came with us, hating the place. It's too cold, too windy. 
Nothing to do but sit in pubs. You know, she hates sitting in pubs. Where's you down? Like when somebody you're close to takes no interest. She's doing all right. That's what I can't understand. It makes no sense. She keeps you. Working here, hating the place. Are you doing all right? You've got a house. It's a house. Well? I'm not interested in houses. Nothing pleases you. Dear, oh dear, I don't care about anything anymore. You're more effective on the gills than a force ten. Hey, you're making me sick. Walk around the harbour. But I wanted it to be wrong, Trev. I was willing it, you know. You're wrong, you're wrong. But she wasn't. She was right. She was right. Hating the place. Is that it? Hmm? You don't like being wrong? No. Jesus Christ, you must be sick to death yet. I'm in a rut, a huge gaping rut. Pretty fair estimation of where you stand. What are you going to do about it? She's the outsider. She's the one that's not supposed to fit in, eh? I love that place. Hate that place. I'm just another bloody image. Stevie on the headland, eh? Stevie on the pier. Stevie sitting down and out, a good full of beer. There's one more for you. What are you going to do about it? Just leave. That'll be the day. You're set on spoiling things, aren't you? You are in a mood. Me? You're always in a mood. Moping around all day. We'll do that if you want, but don't include me. Who used to ask me what you were doing? I made things up. For Christ's sake. He's doing this, he's thinking that. Stevie, what is wrong? I've been sitting in that ice cream parlour waiting for you. I have a job. I'm going for good. Don't be silly. I mean it. No, you don't. No, I don't. I'll tell you something. What? You've lost your sense of fun. Gone into decline. Did she say that? Right out of zest. That's her phrase. It's true. Maybe. I went over. I know. When you were out? Yes. I knew you'd be out. Did you? Do you not feel sick about what's happening to this place? It's already at a blow. Blow up in our faces. So what's new? Nothing. People like you let this place rot. You know who you remind me of? No. My uncle. Never happier than when he was going deaf in the odds or standing some bloody ration queue. He'd be a menace on the road, rear mirror driver, straight up dead ends, too busy checking where you'd be. It's a shared memory. Bollocks, you don't even know what to do with it. You've nothing left. 
nothing to offer. Did she say that? Thought of me got buried here before it started out. Mm, dug in and stuck. The rest's I don't know where. Won't go. Can't steer. Yeah, that's about the size of it. She knows that. Helen, fish out of water. Uh, don't kid yourself. She hates it here. And tell her to clear out and tell her to go. Don't be daft. And tell her you'll go. Is that a solution? Look, okay. she's a problem. Tell her to go. No other way. Well, that's it then. What will you do? Everything's gone sour. I worry about you. Do you? All the time. My fault. I'll worry about you. Will you? Don't. If you'd only try, things might be different. If you'd looked ahead. I made plans. There's nothing else to do. But go. Yes. Fine. What else can I do? It's all for the best. You don't mean that. Don't mind. I know. You're right. So when will you go? Today? Today? Well... Tomorrow, then. Maybe. Not so soon. When, Stevie? When? We'll have to see. I'll have to see Trev. Trevor? Why? I need to see him. I like Trev. So do I. Full of regrets, are you? Brimming over with all the sentiments. I didn't mean it to happen like that. Nobody means to mess things up. We walked along the track. To Laura Wogan. Right to the end. It's a fair walk. She knew. Before I told her, she knew. Expected it. Begged his own. Perceptive woman, Helen. You became a source of irritation. Very insensitive, really, if you think about it. Living with a constant source of irritation. Did she say that? She used to be fond of you. Very fond indeed. That was a surprise. I hadn't expected it. Took a lot of sorting out. You sorted it out. More or less. More or less, last week. And on other occasions, when she wasn't working. No, there's a hard worker. You ought to follow her example. She asked for my keys and I gave her them. I can't go back, Trev. I should have thought of that.
back no more. You're gonna miss me, baby, on your first night.